Hi, my name is Annie and the problem I solved is what are the key factors in sizing a sterile processing water system. Key factors are broken in multiple groups. First being water quality and if there are any known water quality issues. Examples may be pH, organics, or hardness. If this is something that you do not already know, it can be determined by a feed water analysis. The next key factor is equipment details. This includes what sterile processing equipment is the water system going to be feeding. Typically, this consists of equipment that requires critical water and steam, such as final rinse sinks, cart washers, washer disinfectors, ultrasonic cleaners, and steam sterilizers. If you do have a steam sterilizer, we need to know if the boiler is made of carbon steel. This is because DI water is corrosive to carbon steel. A mare water can provide a solution that introduces compounds into the feed RO water supply of the boiler to provide corrosion control. The last key factor is the distribution loop. First detail being the size and material of the distribution loop. This is to ensure the loop can handle the minimum required flow rate for all equipment. Secondly, we need to know the total distribution loop length and if it's going to be traveling through multiple floors. This is important so that we can adequately size the distribution pump. Once we have this information, your mare water representative will determine the best system for your facility. A mare water is known to have a wide range of modular systems that are able to be curated for your exact need.